Welcome, 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 welcome back to another mini episode of the Authentic Man podcast. Been away for a few weeks. <laughs> um, um, I was on f- uh, facilitating on a men's retreat, a five day men's retreat um, called Men Without Masks. And if you are a regular listener to the podcast, you would have um, you would have heard Craig speak on the episode about leadership. Highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, fresh from that. It's beautiful, beautiful work to do with men, to be with men doing the work. Um, yeah, and it's just, yeah, it's truly magical, actually. You know, if you're a man listening to this and you see these men's retreats and think, oh, you know, it's not really for me. God, there's so much there for you. You know, there's so much there for you in terms of the places where you feel a bit stuck, the places where you're not feeling confident, the places where you don't speak up, the places where you're not creative, all of this can be found in, in, all of this can be gained and transformed in a men's retreat. Uh, Men Without Masks is wonderful. But this episode isn't about that. Though I was very tempted there to actually just make the whole episode about that, but I I won't. I'll be another episode if people are interested in what it's like to be in a men's retreat. Let me know and I'll I'll record something. Um, This is the episode's gonna be about designing our relationship. This is a concept I've known for many years um, and can be news to a lot of people, actually, that you're, you get to design your relationship. Like, we have this kind of idea when we get into relationship that there's these standardly expected things, you know, that cause a lot of arguments, for instance. Um, you know, I was speaking to a few people recently around um, things like, say, if you're feeling insecure can you is it's perfectly some people believe it's perfectly reasonable to ask their partner to see all their text messages they've been sending to friends or whatsapps or social media usage you know for reassurance in some people's relationship that's fine um inside of some people's relationship there's an expectation that they won't look at other men or women and in some inside of some people's relationship there's an expectation that you know you won't have sex with anyone else or flirt with anyone else or anything like that but inside some people's relationship, it's perfectly valid for them to sleep with and flirt with other other people, men and women. And for some people, you know, in their relationship, they have no issue with seeing their partner flirting or even seeing their partner sleeping with somebody else. That's inside a relationship. And this is where people consciously and actively designing their relationships as they want them to be really works. Like maybe um, for you, you're looking for a partner who's really supportive you know, and it's really important for you to be in a relationship where your partner really supports you in what you're doing, whether that's work, whether that's your personal growth, um, whether that is your career or, you know, weight loss or whatever it may be, that you want a partner who's going to really support you in those things. So you get to design your relationship in that way. Maybe you meet someone who's open to supporting or maybe he's even not. And actually you get to, um, like, say, this is how I want things to be. This is something I need. This is something I want from a relationship. You know, we don't just have to inherit this kind of expected um, one size fits all model to to relationships. You know, we have this idea that like, you know, relationships should look a certain way and we should move up the relationship uh, escalator in the same way. You meet, you date, you date for a while, become exclusive, you're exclusive for a while. Um, and then you you know, move in together, you move in together for a while, you get engaged, you get engaged, you get married, you get married, you have children, you have one child, you have two, you have two, you have, you know, that that sort of thing. That's the standard escalator that everybody just prescribes to of because that's what we've been, that's what we have been um, given as the way it is, you know, like you get in a relationship and it, it progresses in a certain way. And I'm here to tell you it doesn't have to be that way, you know, some people choose to be in non-monogamous relationships. Some people choose to um, create relationships where, you know, they have agreements. You know, agreements are things that, you know, relationship agreements. Um, some people decide that they want to not be in a relationship at all, right? Or some people decide that they want to communicate in certain ways using certain communication models. And some of us design our relationships around personal growth and personal evolution. Um, it's just really important that we are conscious of what we, we want, actually, and are communicating the things we want, you know? 
a lot of a lot of gripes I see in relationships are around unmet expectations. So it's important that we we put forward these expectations we have of our partners or what we want the relationship to be like, so that our expectations don't go unmet. And if they do go unmet, at least someone was conscious of it and they chose not to meet it, or we chose not to make sure that expectation was met. Because a lot of upset happens when there's this kind of unsaid expectation of how things are, or how things are going to go. And, you know, how often we're going to see each other and things like that. We have these expectations or we have an expectation of we're going to meet um, our partner's family in a certain time or not meet our partner's family in a certain time. Or we have an expectation that we will spend a certain amount of time together, time together or see friends a certain amount and, you know, go on certain types of holidays and all these things or even religious expectations of, of, of religious activities. It's really important to voice these because this is how we design the relationship as we want it to be by speaking up and being like, this is what we want, this is how I want my relationship to be. And it doesn't have to be... Um, I say that phrase a lot, it doesn't have to be, but it doesn't have to be that there's like a big sit down serious discussion. It can be really casual and be like, you know, I really love inside my relationship for travel and growth to be something that's really important. How do you feel about that? Yeah, that's something that's really important to me too. Awesome. You know, it can be as, as simple as that. And then taking actions along the lines to make sure those things are 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 being kind of met, you know, inside a relationship. Because... <laughs> You get to choose, man. You get to choose use your relationship. It's not no one else's, and that's a really important part. You know, if you've got family or friends that are interfering in your relationship, you also get to choose to ask them to stand to one side. You know, it's something I've I've known with friends where their families are getting involved in their marriage and saying things to their wives or husbands, and it's causing friction. It's your relationship. You get to say no. This is not how we're going to operate. It just takes a level of you wanting to, to, you know, enforce your boundaries, but also a level of you of willing to stand up for for what you want in your relationship and just, you know, speaking that out loud in your out loud voice. So I think I'll cap it off there for today. Um, yeah, I haven't actually got any events coming up. Uh, one of a surprise, surprise. Um, I'm currently, you know, if you listen to this when it starts, then, you know, I'm currently just about to start running an eight-week program. So, yeah, I'm very much in the energy of that. Um, if, you know, this topic has been something that, you know, something close to you or something you want to delve deeper into, you know, please feel free to contact me and we can have a chat about how my one-to-one -one coaching works. I probably have about one spot at the moment for to to add for someone coaching. So you can get me an email, hello at the authentic man, or you can get me at the authentic man underscore on Instagram. Until next week, ciao ciao.